Dun, 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 now I am stalling. What's up everybody, Nick here, and today we're doing a little bit of tarantula upkeep. We're going to be um, just making a couple changes, cleaning a few things up on our Brachypelma vegan vagans. I really should look this up before I do videos, but anyway, I say vegan, some people say vagans. Um, I know there's a real way, but I don't pronunciate anything correctly anyway, so let's get going. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this back, try not to breathe a bunch all over. And so I've got two cameras going, one on our, on Frankie, and <laughs> uh, one up here. So don't mind me. What we're going to be doing today is I just want to get a little bit down here cleaned up, down in this bottom corner that you can't see. It's just a little bit of trash, and I want to... Uh, add a little bit of substrate as well as feed him. He molted, um, I think it was about two or three weeks ago now, so he is ready. So let's go ahead and see how he's feeling today. He may not be super crazy about us messing around in his enclosure. I'm using a coffee stirring straw. Um, I use those for both anchors. Ooh! Huh. Anybody else, like, sometimes I'll, like, jump for something, and it's, like, be in the background, and it's, like, a jump scare kind of thing. Woo! Alright, let's cool it. Let's cool our horses. Now, he hasn't eaten, so that's going to be part of it. And you know what? I'm going to throw caution into the wind and go ahead and feed him now. So I'd like to have him calm and collected. We're going to be feeding him a superworm. Uh, go ahead and see that there. Don't get too carried away there. But yeah, it's more just a feeding response and him reacting to my breath is the problem at this point. But I uh, crush heads of my feeders um, to like just ensure safety and everything. Yeah, we're gonna just go ahead do that off camera. Sorry. And then let's go ahead and feed him now. He's where I want to be though, so don't mind B in the background. Come on. Oh. I think it's hilarious how tarantulas, when you feed them, tongue feed them, I'll just give him a minute to come to on his own terms. Um, they take it so much more gently than they would. Just the food here. Why don't I just drop that next to you? He hasn't eaten, so I know he'll eat. You usually give it a little bit of time in or after a molt to make sure their fangs completely harden up. Very nice. Of course counterintuitive because this is exactly where I need to be for my upkeep stuff. So let's try not to freak him out any. I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning, so don't mind me. I'm going to take this cup. See, we just got some trash and things that he's been building up over time and I've been meaning to get cleaned out. I think it's very interesting how they um, have little trash areas and, and keep things kind of clean. This water dish, which I'm just going to leave. There's no hope for it. Alright, so as for you, 
I really hate to do this, but do you mind scooting for me? Do you mind? Oh. It's okay. Yeah, just come over to this side. Yeah, go on. So good. You can just travel right on over here if you don't mind. Just right. Yeah, right there is fine. Okay. Phase two begin. All right. So I have some substrate over here off camera that I'm going to just be putting in. I just thought that, um, like, I originally set up this enclosure and I liked it, but the more I've looked at it, the more I've wished just to be able to have a little more in here. Um, I want to just like basically set up just kind of a little, a hill of sorts, just a mound of dirt that he can take and decide whatever he so chooses to do with it. That was, there's a little divot that he had kind of dug out before that I was going to try to preserve, but I'm not sure if it's too late for that now. This was about where it was, and of course I'm wearing a glove since this is a New World Tarantula. I don't want the irritating hairs to, you know, get all over my skin and everything while I'm in here. That actually was a really good idea. Now, I wouldn't recommend anything like this for an Old World Tarantula, but he's just gonna sit over here and eat. He's like, I... I was concerned with what you were doing, but now that I have food, the only thing about these straws is they're about the same girth of some of the superworms and mealworms that I feed, so that's why I think he was getting so up in arms earlier. And for me, like, the, like I jump the most with tarantulas because it's like a jump scare. They sit there forever, and you're waiting and waiting, and then, like, out of nowhere they flip around. So there's no tell of when they're going to decide to react, so I <laughs> have to just kind of watch out. Now, I'm not really worried about him, of course. He's been doing nothing. I'm just going to put a little more substrate in over here. And this is all wet. So my substrate is actually pretty simple as far as what it is. Um, you know, that's a pretty decent hide, but I kind of want to move that. Sorry, I'm just upending everything. Um, it's just about 50-50 with just like a plain, normal topsoil, and the other 50% is... Um, peat moss, so nothing super crazy, but I think the peat moss is good for holding in water a little better, and the topsoil is good for, like, you know, you want the um, dirt to be able to stay in place when they're digging around, and I did use all peat moss originally when we first got our first two tarantulas, and that was fine, but definitely the mixture is better, and I'm gonna eventually start working to see what else I can add to it. That's pretty much it. It's pretty simple, nothing crazy. I just wanted to get a hide in here so that way um, sometimes when Frankie runs around, Frankie just runs around like he doesn't know <laughs> where. And you know, I don't really ever bother him all that much, but if he ever is to stir... So anyway, now that the cats are, well, the cats decide, you know, when we are in the office, then they need to be in the office. I like the change of, like, like behavior. Like, before I gave him anything, he was, like, all about, like, striking that straw, figuring out what's going on. And I gave him food, and of course, like, I messed up with the first bit for the tongue, so after I let him take care of it, seemed to really like it. I want to kind of raise this up just a little more. 
That way he has a little more of a digging space. Okay. You know, really, I don't know if I've... Even when he was a small tarantula, I don't think that he ever really used to a hide very often, other than maybe when he was molting. Um, but we've had this tarantula. We got him from Petco. This was our first tarantula that we raised from, like, a sling to where he is now. So, I don't have any favorites, but definitely there is that, like, connection of my first, like, tarantula I've I've raised, um, and then we've had the two that we've rescued, and then since then we have all kinds of other tarantulas, but I got them from actual tarantula breeders, so um, their origin story isn't necessarily so scary or mysterious, so to speak. Like Frankie, I think, would have died within a day or two um, in the enclosure he was originally in. Alright, so cool. I really like this. I should have thought about putting another water dish in. Um, actually, let's just dig this out and put that in the trash. Dig this a little bit. He's just sitting there. He's... What a good boy he's been. Why don't we... Maybe in this, like, more wet substrate, this will hold its shape a little better. Since he's a little bigger now, he can have a little bit of a bigger water dish in here. just fine. So anyway, thank you all again for watching. I know this isn't too crazy of a video. At some point I need to do some other rehousing, so we will do more upkeep in the future. Um, really appreciate you stopping by, and we will catch you all in the next week. It's just me, me and Frankie and Joanna in the background. Anyway, we'll see you all later. Bye! So don't mind me. What we're going to be doing today is I just want to get a little bit down here cleaned up, down in this bottom corner that you can't see. It's just a little bit of trash. And I want to uh, add a little bit of substrate as well as feed him. He molted, um, I think it was about two or three weeks ago now, so he is ready. Um, Bear, can I get you to do me a huge favor? Could you hand me my tweezers?